Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm playing some more Total War Warhammer. We're taking a look at a, a replay of an online battle between myself and a Vampire Counts player. Um, as you guys can see from the build, we are indeed crusading with Volkmar here. We've got the Flagellants and the Sigmar Sons in the, in the front line, the Templehof Luminarch. Um, we've got the Free Company Militia, the Light Wizard, uh, Zintler's Reichsguard as a mobile option. So definitely going to be a lot of fun. Um... So yeah, it's uh, a build you guys saw me use not too long ago. I'm, uh, I've been using it quite a bit against the vampires, and it's uh, definitely a lot of fun. The idea is that as the enemy attacks the Flagellants and the Sigmar Sons in the front line, they'll start to create holes where the Free Company Militia uh, can then shoot in from the rear and deal damage and, you know, hopefully just continue to fend things off. So you can see here the, uh, boom, the Templehof Luminarch already teeing off, just one shot at that necromancer on a corpse cart it also got a shot on the red duke that i missed earlier that did you know most of his hp as he strayed into range so my opponent realizing that this is uh, a force to be reckoned with after just deleting that corpse cart and uh, doing quite a bit of damage to the red duke he's gonna carefully approach and uh, rightly so keep the red duke back and uh, try and get this vargolf up and around the flank outside of the range of the templehof luminarch well, he's got a Blood Knight on this flank, and it looks like in the center is all zombies with the Tithe on the flank. And the Feasters in the, uh, feasters in the Dusk. Don't want to get that wrong. Feasters in the Dusk here in the center as well. So uh, definitely probably hoping, hoping to let the Mortis Engine do most of the killing and just use the zombies as kind of a bogging down force. And then use the Vargulf and the Blood Knights here. There's more Blood Knights here. I use them to deal most of the damage, but... Um, with this build, uh, my back line is fairly well protected by the spearmen. Uh, the front line's a little flimsy, but up against just zombies, I mean, they'll do just fine. So we'll fast forward a bit here as my opponent approaches. Uh, no need to wait on that. So we're going to try and get these blood knights to come into an unfavorable engagement, but my opponent smells the ruse and is uh, not going to take the bait. Um, over here, we are getting the main line fight underway. These flagellants are going to be charging downhill into the zombies. Uh, you can see Volkmar's banishment going off and he's charging through. Uh, just got into those feasters in the dust. Going to be doing a ton of damage and then pulling away. Uh, Volkmar is pretty hard to deal with as a chariot unless, I mean, if my opponent were to detach these blood knights over, um, they could probably deal with him, but right now they're way out of position. So, uh, yeah, these zombies here are going to get carved up for the most part. You can see they're already almost gone over here. And uh, my my opponent engaging piecemeal, I mean, I understand that he was trying not to get shot by the Luminarch, but uh, speaking of which, you can see the Vargulf is now in range, so the Luminarch is uh, hopefully going to be charging up a shot here soon. The, you can see the Free Company Militia getting some nice shots in, and uh, some Spearmen are going to try and come in and stall the advance, deal some nice anti-large damage, and looks like the Templehof is... Uh, bit obstructed there that is unfortunate but we're just kind of holding in reserve here we've got a these blood knights were caught by a net of amantok over here so the spearmen can get in them uh, not get in them oh that's kind of inappropriate get on them rather uh we've also got the sterling's revenge going to be doing some armor piercing range fire helping take down those blood knights uh the blood knights on this flank were met by the zintler's reichsguard and the empire spearmen are close by for support as well so you know hopefully we'll be able to uh, get that going. You can see, boom! There goes the Red Duke. The Templehof Luminarch just took him out. Um, he tried to come back to support the battle, and just, I mean, this map is so open, there's nowhere for him to hide. <laughs> so the Blood Knights are finally getting through. They're going to try and get on this Templehof Luminarch, but it's a little too late. <laughs> you know, it's taken out most of the Vampire support units, so uh, the Blood Knights are struggling. Most of the zombies are gone. Only the Tithe really remain. Um, and over here, these Blood Knights are in a bad way as well, just getting dragged down into the dirt by these Spearmen. Uh, you can see the Free Company are opening up fire over here onto these Blood Knights, and the Blood Knights are mostly surrounded now and just getting destroyed. Um, the Claw of Nagash is here finally, um, but it needed to have come over much earlier. Um, if he had brought all those high value targets in at the same time, I would have been able to, I would have been able to only shoot one of them. Um, you know, granted, it only took one shot to finish off that corpse cart, but I thought you guys would enjoy that. It's a nice quick battle. Um, we are going to take a look at another one, but just thought I'd give you guys fair warning. If you see the Templehof Luminarch, keep 
your heroes away. And don't bring a corpse card against the Empire. They have w really good artillery, and the corpse card is a really flimsy unit in general. So, I mean, you got you, you guys saw it got one-shotted by that Tempelhof Luminarch, so... Uh, we're going to take a look at another battle where I'm using the same build, and I think my opponent had a much better counter to what I brought. So we'll look at this one here. Uh, get a double Volkmar Crusade cast. Definitely enjoy looking at Volkmar's Pimp Chariot and that great mustache, and he's just an awesome lord. I don't know that he's necessarily the most competitive, um, but he's a lot of fun to use. So, Especially against the vampires, just really thematic and... You know, he's got good abilities, too, against the vampires, so we shall see. Uh, yeah, same build for me. Nothing too much more to go over here. Um, at least, yeah, I, I believe it's the same. Um, for my opponent, he's got Manfred von Karstein, and rather than bringing him up in the air, he's got him on a horse, which is very smart. Um, against the Empire, bringing a flying lord can be a huge risk, just because the Tempelhof Luminarch can snipe flying lords very easily. And, um, you know, even if they're able to, you know, there's probably ways you could still bring a Flying Lord and try and mitigate the Temple Hop Luminarch, you know, maybe have another Necromancer on foot, maybe summoning zombies or doing different things. Uh, there's, there's things you could do, but uh, bringing, bringing your Lord on the ground is probably one of the best ways to protect him against the Temple Hop Luminarch because he can't shoot very well, especially if they're like behind infantry or mixed in with another fight. They're a lot easier to get obstructed, whereas if, if they're in the air, they're a big open target. So um, definitely smart by my opponent. He's going to try and run Manfred up through this forest over here so he doesn't ha have the opportunity to get shot by the Temple of Luminarch. It's a very smart move. Uh, we're going to fast forward a bit while my opponent advances. He's got this uh, unit of Felbats here that he's probably hoping to tie down the Temple of Luminarch with. He's got a front line of, uh, looks like, five zombies. Uh, one Crypt Ghoul here, one Crypt Ghoul here, a White King on foot in the center, four Graveguard with Great Weapons, and one Cairn Wraith. So, uh, definitely going to be a fun time. Uh, he's also got the Chill Geist over here. They're not a common pick at all. Not something you see every day. So they're going to be accompanying Manfred out on this flank. And he has brought his bats over and discovered the Zintler's Reichsguard I hid in the forest over here. So that's a bit unfortunate, but... Uh, so far, my opponent's advanced in such a way that I really haven't had the opportunity to get a good shot um, at a lot of his units. You can see now the Tempelhof Luminarch's trying to shoot this White King, but because he's mixed in this infantry line, the uh, Tempelhof Luminarch thinks that it's obstructed. So, you can see there it just got a shot and did some nice damage. Uh, Volkmar's Vanishment also coming in, doing a decent amount of damage. He's going to get a nice preliminary charge and try and kind of disrupt the enemy uh, advance here. Uh, we've got these bats taking fire now, but they are going to get in and tie down this Tempelhof Luminarch for some time, which is a bit unfortunate. The uh, Zindler's Reichshardt are going to get a great charge here into these feasters in the dusk. Or were they just regular Crypt Ghouls? Uh, just regular Crypt Ghouls. But they do a ton of damage on the charge. Um, you can see my opponent uh, immediately using Fate of Buna on them, trying to get them off the battlefield and coming in with the Chill Guys. The Chill Guys will be able to do a fair amount of damage with their armor piercing, so... Uh, here we're going to put it in slow-mo here in the center. Uh, you can see the zombies have engaged across the line as well, uh, backed up by the Graveguard with great weapons. I netted these forces here in the center and my opponent hasn't responded quite yet. Um, but you can see very good play here, getting these Crypt Ghouls around the flank. I'm going to try and screen with my Spearmen, but they will get into my free company a bit. Uh, you can see I'm just uh, trying to commit all my missile units to take down these Felbats as quickly as possible. So I can spring this Luminarch free and use it to pop Manfred, maybe pop the White King, just do some kind of damage. I mean, it's such an expensive unit, I need it to do something. So you can see the Sigmar Sun's just holding here in the center because these guys haven't advanced. Um, Volkmar's riding around buffing his troops, just trying to do as much damage as possible. Um, these Zindler's Reichsguard over here are still holding, but they are pretty much done at this point, almost completely gone. So Volkmar's gonna get in, uh, as well as these Spearmen, and try and do some damage to the Chill Guys. And Volkmar, with his magic damage, will be able to do quite a bit of damage to the chill guys. So, a uh, Manfred gets netted here, and uh, it's about to get popped by the Luminarch, but very good zombie summon here right in front of the Luminarch. Um, actually, they're going to get onto the Luminarch just before it fires and start attacking it, so it's not able to fire. Very good play by my opponent. You can see the Sterling's Revenge are still getting in some good shots, um, trying to get some work done. And finally, these uh, forces are, these uh, zombies are advancing on the Sigmar Suns over here. 
Over here, I've got these Cripples mostly surrounded. They're getting shot by this free company. It's a pretty good situation for me. Over here, these Flagellants are crumbling these zombies. They are going to fall to the Graveguard with great weapons. Um, we're going to try and get a shot on Manfred, and we do get some nice contact right there. Um, but we're going to need maybe one or two more shots to finish him off with the Luminarch. And you can see just the relentless zombies from my opponent just tying down the Luminarch, tying down the Sterling's Revenge. Very good play there. Over here, more zombies are being carved up by these free company, but the chill guys are going to try and get in and terror route them uh, before they completely disappear. Uh, in the main line, most of the zombies are gone. Mostly it's just Graveguard with great weapons and this pocket that still hasn't moved. Um, definitely my opponent wants to try and get these in, and now it looks like he is responding with them. He's bringing in these Graveguard as well. Um, probably wanted to pull these free company militia back a bit, and it looks like I am. Over here, these crit ghouls are almost gone, and I definitely need these melee infantry elsewhere, so I'm going to try and get them uh, out as soon as possible. Now Manfred is uh, summoning more zombies, just continuing to bog down the Tempelhof Luminarch, not allowing it to perform, and uh, him and the White King are going to start putting a beating on it real bad. And uh, it's definitely bad to lose a high-value unit like this. You can see Volkmar is casting another Banishment here. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot, but hopefully it'll... Yeah, see, it kind of curves away from the fight, so it's not going to do a whole lot there. Um, and you can see uh, Manfred and the White King are doing a ton of damage to this Luminarch, and they are going to actually take it off the field. So, fortunate for me. Uh, and we're going to start trying to shoot Manfred up as much as possible with the Free Company, but another great zombie summon managing to tie down both of these Free Company units. Uh, they are still getting some fire, but, uh, you know, Manfred is going to get in here. Volkmar is going to try it, but uh, when Volkmar is on his chariot, you really don't want to try and use him as a duelist in any any role because he literally has no attack animations i mean like this guy on the back has attack animations but volkmar himself i mean he'll just stand there and oh, maybe he got a little attack animation there it's hard to tell but he really doesn't attack very much when he's on the chariot you mostly want to use him against infantry uh over here manfred slipped away he did take quite a bit of damage but another zombie summoned uh, as soon as i get a net here the zombies are up at the same time almost not allowing the Sterling's Revenge to fire. If they were able to get just a few more volleys, they could finish off Manfred, but as it is, you can see the balance of power is pretty heavily in my opponent's favor. Well, not pretty heavily, uh, fairly heavily. More zombie summons um, just continuing to degenerate and tie down important units. You can see the White King's actually doing some really nice work against Volkmar, so that's not a situation I want. I need to get Volkmar out of there. You can see finally another net coming in, but uh, these guys are doing a little bit of firing. They're getting some work done against Manfred. But he is going to squeak away here with about 590 hit points, and they're going to get distracted by the zombies on their flanks. So, a bit unfortunate. Uh, Volkmar is just continuing to ride around in these graveyard with great weapons, just trying to get as much damage done as possible. Going to intercept Manfred here and try and uh, finish him off. But Manfred, you know, because of the nature of the attack animations of Volkmar, he's not getting, you know, not getting it done. Uh, Spirit Leech coming down, probably... Not the best, uh, just because Volkmar does have fairly heavy magic resistance, although he, I understand he wanted to try and get Volkmar to his healing cap. Looks like, yeah, 25% magic resistance, so it is doing a bit of damage, but Volkmar will be able to regenerate up to his healing cap. Um, just continuing to try and work through all these annoying zombie summons. Most of my front line is completely gone at this point. I'm just relying on these free company. Uh, they're going to start unloading on these Graveguard with great weapons here. that are fighting up against these Spearmen, valiantly holding, allowing their comrades to shoot these guys in the flank and get quite a bit of work done, actually. You can see Volkmar's riding through as well, getting a great charge in there, doing a ton of damage. And, uh, you know, he is getting fairly low, though. His healing cap is about 60% of his total HP, getting down to about 50%. So every time he charges in here, he's going to take damage. And I was able to net and uh, use the banishment to take out a number of these can race. That probably wasn't the best use of that net. I probably should have saved that magic, to be honest. Um, but you can see the balance of power is still slightly against me. Um, but we do have this very pitch fight here in the center that Volkmar is going to absolutely adore. Just carving through this mass of Graveguard with great weapons. Uh, clumped up infantry like this will take a lot of damage from Volkmar. So. Uh, the White King is going to start chasing the Sterling's Revenge. This is really unfortunate for me because I don't really have anything to intercept the White King. Um, so there, he's going to be able to chase down and catch those Sterling's Revenge and get a few of them down. Uh, definitely not what I wanted. Uh, over here, this Free Company Militia is fairly tattered but is opening up shots. And uh, over here, these few Flagellants and Sigmar's Sons that are left are just not able to tie down. They don't have the models now to tie down any of these units. So he's just continuously, aggressively, you know, pursuing my ranged units, which, well, he should be. Uh, right now, it's looking like he's going after Volkmar a bit. 
but he's, he's pushing now all these forces into this forest here where I've got uh, got my forces and unfortunately this free company gets terror routed away by these can wraiths which is very very unfortunate you can see a, a bit of a last samurai charge here as these free company militia uh, shoot these grave guard through the forest try and finish off these very tattered units but uh, they just refuse to go down and yeah you can see the Sterling's Revenge are getting quite a bit of work done um, they're already at 144 kills so great for them um, you can see a rear charge coming in from the Cairn race that is a bit unfortunate although the Sterling's Revenge have decent leadership um, they they are susceptible to terror so uh, finally Volkmar is returning to aid his men um, I'm gonna get a rear charge in here um, try and buff up his troops to you know stay in the fight and just try and crumble off the last of these grave guard they've only got about 400 HP that one finally pops this one's about to pop um, now I'm just netting down the last of these forces here using Volkmar to get some great damage done against those can rates but uh, you can see the White King is very healthy still having been healed and um, yeah I don't have a ton of armor piercing units left to deal with him so at this point the only way for me to win uh, the balance of power has slightly shifted back in my favor now so it's looking okay um, I just need to be able to finish off this White King um, but you see unfortunately uh, the terror of the Cairn rates kicks in for these free company and they're actually gonna route right off the map because we're right here next to the edge so that's a bit unfortunate uh, you can see Volkmar throwing down another banishment gonna be getting some good kills uh, hopefully trying to finish off those Cairn rates and right now these uh, Sterling's Revenge are my last hope so I'm trying desperately to get them free and just finish off the last of these uh, very tattered zombie units uh, there's the zombies here and the Cairn rates that are just just holding on by a thread these zombies have about 2700 hit points left White Kings uh, sitting at about 2200 so very healthy um, but you can see he's just aggressively pathing after my Sterling's Avenge as well he should be um, I'm not able to time down with Volkmar the Grim he's just doesn't have enough you know unit models only being one chariot you can see we finally finish off those Cairn rates but uh, Manfred is still somehow alive with only 333 hit points and these zombies are also quite healthy as well um, and in decent leadership oh they actually went down to critical binding there but uh, you can see Manfred gets in and chases off the Sterling's Revenge and at this point I'm pretty much out of magic so the Light Wizard really isn't going to be very useful these uh, four Sigmar sons are trying desperately to catch up with this White King so they can try and do something but uh, here I'm going to try and not get caught by the White King because I need to have Wolfmar survive as long as possible but uh, you can see when the Vi White King gets his charge animation he's actually able to catch the chariot which is a little bit ridiculous when you think about it but hey I'm um, going to try and catch Manfred and just finish him off. He's down to 173 hit points, but he's just continuing to chase away these Sterling's Revenge, and I really need these guys to help finish off Manfred and to finish off the White King, and uh, yeah, it's just not looking good right now. So these these zombies are continuing to hold despite you know their entire force being shattered and being you know very low tier units they're still somehow not crumbling um, you would think they'd just be crumbling from army losses at this point but Manfred's still still alive still not able to catch him so we're gonna fast forward a little bit as the Benny Hill music plays and uh, I just kinda ride around through through my opponent's force trying to catch Manfred getting attacked by the White King trying to catch the zombies just trying to finish it all off and Manfred is still very healthy at 173 hit points um, and there I miss the attack animation it's just very hard to catch him with Wolfmar there um, you know I get in but again the lack of the frontward facing attack animations for Wolfmar on a chariot is a serious issue um, he's just not doing any damage so <laughs> it's very unfortunate I um, really should have probably been just keeping him on these zombies the whole time um, they are still somehow alive down to minus eight leadership and finally crumbling but they just have so much health still it's gonna be really hard to get rid of them you can see Manfred get it, got in there toss the light wizard around he's gonna route the light wizard off um, and Volkmar in the forest is gonna be very slow and the, the White King might be able to catch him but you see where he gets the charge speed there he's gonna be able to ride through the zombies get a little bit more work done just try and finish him off uh, they, these zombies I 45 of them and they're still just causing a nuisance for the Sterling just not Sterling's Revenge just not allowing him to stand still continuously just chasing after them you know just not not allowing him a moment's rest so you can see the balance of power is now turned against me once again and uh, it's looking pretty grim at this point uh, no pun intended 
So we're just going to continue to try and ride through the zombies. And uh, they're almost gone. But Volkmar is very low as well. He's only at about 200 hit points. And this is really bad when I, got, I get caught here. Volkmar gets killed. And that's going to be it for the Empire Forces. So very good game. A very close game to my opponent. I feel like if I had done a few things differently there at the end, I could have won. But a great game overall. That's, uh, that's one of the closest games I've played in a while. So... Uh, good job to my opponent. I'm always game for a really close loss like that. Um, overall, a fairly decent build. I probably would have brought Crypt Horrors instead of the Grape Guard with great weapons. That's just a personal preference. But uh, you can see these guys did very well. And um, yeah, overall getting a lot of kills. Um, the This Crypt Ghoul did fairly well. This one did okay. The Zombies, you know, took a lot of fire. And this one survived until the end game somehow. Uh, Manfred also, I'm not sure how he survived, but that was, oh man, he had like 20-something hit points by the end of that. Something like that. Uh, over on my side, the Flagellants carving up a ton of zombies, same with these Sigmar Sons, but, uh, you know, those kill totals are a little inflated because of all the zombies. Um, the Free Company Militia also each got over 140 kills, almost 150 each. That's... I really like Free Company against the uh, Vampires because with the zombie summons in the back line, they can handle fairly well. I mean, they will lose some models, but they'll beat the zombies down. So that's good for them. Uh, the Zintler's Reichsguard didn't do a lot. Uh, kind of misplayed them a little bit. And the Templehof Luminarch just did not get the work done that it needed to at all. So for bringing such an expensive unit like this, I needed it to do a lot more. Volkmar got 178 kills. He's always a force to be reckoned with. And um, yeah, across the line, I just I, a lot of my guys got a lot of kills, but just completely outnumbered here by all these zombies and then all the zombies that were summoned, you know, on top of that. So great game to my opponent, like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that uh, Volkmar Crusade double cast. Subscribe if you like the channel. Drop a like if you like the video. And we'll see you guys next time.